That's mine. So you got two phones? Alright, bro. You that's, that's in your phone. It's in your back pocket. That's you got two phone. phones? Okay. Do what you gotta do. That's the damn phone. I've told that, you. That's the phone we're looking for. That's the phone. There are times in every person's life where they are feeling down. Evidently, even the cops. But they don't seem to care all that much for the law when they drown their sorrows. Watch along as we get into these three cases of cops who were drunk and disorderly. Okay, I didn't stop you. You already stopped. Yes, sir. Okay? You understand that? Yes, sir. You understand what you were doing? Yes, I was I'm going to stop it. I'm going to home. No, you're not understanding. You're not understanding what I'm saying. The reason, reason why I'm here is because you fell asleep. Yes, sir. So, so, I'm gonna... No, you didn't say any of that. Okay, I just woke Just like this first cop who got exactly what he deserved. That's mine. So you got two phones? Alright, bro. You, that's, that's in your phone. back. It's in your back pocket. That's you got two phone. phones? Okay. Do what you gotta do. That's the damn phone. I told that, you. That's the phone we're looking for. That's, that's the phone. phone. It's back that pocket. Have I not told y'all several do, times? Do, do, you hear, do you hear that? Alright. Have I not told y'all several times? Have, have I not told y'all several times? Case one. On August 1st, 2020, in Georgia's Macon Bibb County, deputies were responding to the usual calls about a theft. When they went down to the bar in question to investigate the situation, they were at the very least gobsmacked to find another Dublin, Georgia's police officer, Gary Jamad Jones. Get, go get him a cup and get him some ice and go into the bathroom in there and get him some more. Okay, here's the deal. Okay, Mr. Jones? Yes, sir. Here's the deal, okay? This is what's gonna happen, okay? I already talked to the victim, okay? I already talked to the victim. He gets his phone back, no one goes to jail, okay? But mark my words, okay? I'm not gonna play games, you understand me? I'm not gonna fuck around, I'm not gonna waste my time, because technically I'm supposed to be getting off in a little bit, okay? So if no phone gets produced, okay, then I'm gonna take all three of you, not just you, but all three of you. Okay? So, where's the phone at? Sir, I can tell you a thousand times over again. I just watched you in the video take the phone. Do you not understand that? Look at me. Look at me. Look, look at me. Is stupid written across my forehead right now? Sir, I just that. literally watched you on the video take the phone can I say and walk outside. He gives Gary another chance to do the right thing and return the phone before making any sort of scene. All we want to know at this point is where's the phone at now? Where did it go from the and time I of the have nothing to lie to you about. My okay. hands have been up okay. again. Once again, it's lying. on camera of you picking up the phone. On camera, you picking up the phone. And walking out with it. So, where did the phone go? And that way we can go from here and figure out what we need to do. May I ask you the question before y'all start antagonizing okay. me? So, on camera. I understand that it's on camera. I deal with this on a daily basis with people that I lock up myself. May I answer the question, which which uh, they're antagonizing me. So uh, I mean, I, I mean, you can shake your head. You can do whatever. You can. Mr. Nod. Jones, just answer the damn question, okay? okay? Where's phone? May I say yes? Sir? Can I can, can I give a yes or no? Spit out what you're trying to say. Dude, you don't have to scream at me like that. Well, you're wasting time. I'm just saying you don't have to scream. Look, you either get out whatever you're going to say or we're done. Despite several attempts by the good cops, the bad cop simply won't budge from his foolish stance. May I talk, may I talk to the acting corporal? To the acting corporal? Yes, because we don't have an acting corporal. All we have is a sergeant and an acting corporal. Okay, I am the acting corporal. Not to my ship. Oh, you're talking about one of your... Yes, sir, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, who you can call? So, may I or may I? Call whoever you need to call. Turner. Can you please talk to them? They think I stole somebody's cell phone. I did not. And, yes ma'am, they think I stole somebody's cell phone. They're saying I, they got it on video. I mean, if they got it on video, they got it on video. But they feel like... They feel like you're lying about everything, since they have evidence that you are. I'm lying about everything. You are you're my acting corporal. You see me 
work from day in and day out. Can you just talk to me? What, man, sir, I, you don't want to tell me your name. Sir. You're not going to hear it through this regular talk. Mom, uh, where you this, at? This, this is Deputy Money Penny with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office. Hello. You, you there? This is Deputy Money Paint, the Big County Sheriff's Office. You there? Um, yes, this is. Yeah, what's going on? Okay, so what's going on is uh, Mr. Jones just can't grasp the situation that it clearly shows him on video taking someone's cell phone and walking off with it. The person whose cell phone he took doesn't want to press charges if he gets the cell phone back, but Mr. Jones, for whatever reason, wants to give all these different answers to not the what we're telling them and we keep trying to explain it to them that myself another officer and everyone else at security here at the club have all tried to explain to him that you can clearly see him pick the cell phone up off the table after the other person set it down and walk off with it okay so he wants to sit there and say he doesn't have a cell phone on him I'm not saying he's gonna have a cell phone on his person but he clearly took the cell phone and if he can't produce the cell phone then he's going to jail he doesn't seem to be able to wrap his head around this. Okay, uh, why, why am I being called? Because he wanted to call his acting corporal to notify somebody that he's in trouble. Okay, and who is this? Deputy Money Penny with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office. And where are y'all at? Bibb County, Macon, Georgia. No, where, where are uh, y'all at right we're now? We're at the Crazy Bull downtown. Um... Okay. Uh, let let me talk to GJ again. Uh, he's he's right here. What's up? GJ, what what's going on? They think I have somebody's cell phone. I have not touched his cell phone. I've told them several times if they will if they would like to search me, they can search me. They will not search me because they feel like I'm gonna hide it some type of way. I told them like, hey, if you want to search me, search me right now. I have no problem with that. They don't want to search me because they feel like I'm just going to hide it some other type of way. And then I'm not. You know how I work. You know how. When evidence is presented to Gary's acting corporal, even she is astounded at how red handedly her employee was caught. I'm going to walk off with it. Okay, so where do y'all, where, where are y'all supposing it's at? If y'all won't search him and look at it or look for it, I mean. There's, a, there's two other girls that are going to go to jail with him because they're, they're also with along with him as well. So okay. they they either they walked outside. Are they, are, they, are they in a car? Is it supposed to be in a bag? Is it supposed to be on somebody? I don't I don't know where it's supposed to be at. I mean, you he walked off with it, and now he doesn't have it. You're saying that I'm standing there with it. So I told you, say, search me several times. I put my hands up. I told hey, you, I'm search me. To a and you right now. Search me. So I mean, I mean, what else do what else do you want? I told you to you search me see, like, several you, times. See, you I, do, saying, I know the law. You can't. Tell me anything, no, bro. you seem to All think right. because you don't have this phone All on right. you, you didn't steal it, right, and bro. that's not the case. All right, bro. I don't, I don't know. You know, you know what? Okay. Fine, we're we're done. Turn, stand up, turn around. Stand, stand up, and turn around. No, take take me. I don't care. Stand up and turn around. Give me trust, man. Mr. Jones, don't even do this. Stand up. Come on, turn around. Put your hands behind your back. Talk, call lieutenant. I don't care because this is a bullshit. Because they don't want to listen to me. I need you to stand up. No, I'm not because y'all won't even give me. Being placed under arrest, so we need you to do whatever. Tase me, do whatever. Five is detained. I need more units sent to the crazy bull. Yeah. Look, right now you are resisting arrest. So, of course I know that. I, my suggestion, my suggestion. Here, Gary still doesn't seem to realize how deep a hole he's dug himself in. Therefore, he puts on one more display of stupidity and continues to resist arrest. It's making things worse. That's fine. Because if this has That's to escalate, fine. if this has to Sir, escalate, shut the fuck up. I know what's fine. I know the rules. I've been a police officer for a year. Okay. Well, right now, you're being told you're under arrest. Okay. 
So if you want to start getting agitated and everything like that, I suggest you stand up and turn around right now. Or you will be tased. Do you understand that? I've been tased four times in my life. Do you understand that? Alright, look. We ain't even got to go this far. Just stand up and put your hands behind your back. Tell him to put the taser up. Put, no. Stand up and put your hands behind no. your back. No. No, no. That's no. Stand up. Stand up and turn around. Stand up and turn around. I trust me, you're not going to hurt me. Alright, listen, I'm, I'm trying to place you in a rest this point. I need you to stand up and put your hands on your chest. Can you please let me go? I'll stand up. Stand up, okay, fair enough. Stand up, put your hands on your back. Bullshit. Because. Well, I'm coming on, I don't care. I swear to God, that's one of your shit. I'm horny too, Enjoy. because. After purposefully escalating the situation, Gary now finds himself in a compromised position where he's essentially allowed for the officers to perform an open legal search. AR-15 up under the back seat. Ronnie, macro nine up under the front seat. I have nothing now. You can, you can grab everything you Whose phone is this? That's mine. So you got two phones? All right, bro. You, it's, in your phone. it's in your back pocket. That's you got two phone. phones? Okay. Do what you gotta do. That's the damn phone. I told you. That, that's the phone we're looking for right now. That's the phone. In his back left pocket. Have I not told y'all several times? Do you hear that? Alright. Have I not told y'all? This is a great hill. Have I not told y'all several times? We have the damn phone in his front pocket. Have I not told y'all several times? There's the phone. The phone was in here. I told his, you several no, times. His back left. Yeah. Check me. His back left. The phone was in here. That's the fucking bullshit. Yeah. Look at that, buddy. I've told y'all several times to check my ass, hey. but y'all don't want to. Hey, stop talking about you. Listen, bro. Let's pull him out. Come on. Come on. Get up on your knees. You about to get it. Keep, keep being stupid and you're gonna get it again. Hard that shit, cause y'all don't wanna listen to nobody, man. No. Fuck that shit. Y'all don't want to listen to nobody. Cause I'm tired of that fucking bullshit. Y'all wanna think every black mother. Cause out here doing some bad shit, y'all don't want to listen to nobody. We have to play this game. Come on. Come on. Put him in. Really? Come on. Yep, we sure are. All right, hold him right here. Miss Johnson, get the car. Get tasted him. I mean it. You're gonna get tased again. Get the damn car, dude. I'm not doing nothing but standing here. Put your feet in there, sir. Put your feet in. Ah. Inevitably, Gary acts out and finds himself being tased and escorted towards the police vehicle. All that show and talk went nowhere for ex-officer Gary Jones, as he was promptly taken to the local PD after these events. Telephone from Crazy Bull, and he got tased. Forgot completely the damn. Man, that's
Here, he was put behind bars. Later, he was even charged with felony theft by taking and misdemeanor obstruction of a peace officer. We've seen these cops disorderly in public spaces already, but what happens when you get one of these drunk, corrupt cops behind the wheel? Here, see for yourself. Well, I'm gonna put your feet together for me. All right, she tip my pen. Okay, I... If it is something you're... Case two. In November 2022, the Indianapolis police found none other than a police sergeant, namely Peter Fekis. Fekis is found in an inebriated and uncooperative state, evidently performing a show of his power amongst the police force. Body cam footage shows the events after the drunk driving arrest has taken place. Okay, um, what he, uh, crash wise, what happened? He, he rolled up to his truck. He said, well, he was parked. Mm -hmm. They came up on him and passed out. Okay, so he didn't hit him. Well, it's there. We don't know if it's there. Damage, he hit the front wall. He hit the rear wall of that truck. But we can't hit it. Just yelling right here. Were you the one that rolled up on him? Yeah. Okay. Can you give me a statement about it? Briefly, what happened though? What did you see? So we're checking for spots over here. And when you roll up on him and he has his car on, he slumped over. Uh, we knocked on the window and he just wasn't waking up. Okay. Um, refusing to get out of the car and all that. So, and then the license. Dogs was going did he make any statements to you, anything like that? No, he, he basically, no, he just, he couldn't talk, he was like just mumbling. He's mumbled? Yeah. Okay, um, did you get to see his eyes, anything like that? Yeah. I there, just, I just smelled it. Okay, was there anything in the vehicle? Like, do you see like on the floorboard and the set kind of yeah, folder? Yeah, he, he has that bottle of vodka in yeah. the vehicle that we observed. Is it open? Yeah. Okay. Or, it, I, I think I don't it know right, I just a bottle of vodka look. next to him. He had a ball of walking next to him? Yeah, it was in the... It was right next to him. Yeah. Okay, in the seat. Uh, kind of like... It's big enough where it covered the seat and, like, okay. the floor. I see and what you're I, saying. I saw cans, but I, think that, I don't think that's alcohol. I think it's, like, energy drinks or what. Our cop investigates the crime scene, finding where the sergeant had rolled down and struck another parked car in his vegetated and drunken state. You said your wife's number is in your phone. I need a phone number. So what's your phone number? We'll get that for you. Yeah. Now yeah, we'll work on it. Uh, well, I, I gotta do. I gotta get a little bit in. <clears throat> you don't. You don't come. No, with, you don't come with me. I'm not. Uh, I'm not trying to. Do, I'm not. All right. Let's fall. Let's fall. All right, man. I'm Trooper Garner. How's it going? All right. You're gonna come out here with me. You're gonna seat in my car. Okay. I'm gonna talk to you. All right. No. My. My. Own. My wife's saying 626. What's going on tonight? <coughs> Sit back here with me, we're gonna have a seat in my car, okay? I'm gonna talk to you. Hey, brother, talk to him so he can check. Yeah, come on, man. No, do as much as he can. You have my phone. Yeah, we got it. Look. But we talked about this earlier. I'm gonna when tell you, you got here, you were going to cooperate with him. I know you wasn't yeah. with me, but you're going to with him. I don't want to take you to jail tonight, okay? That's, we told but you But if you're going to push my buttons, we'll go straight to jail. I'm not kidding with you, okay? I understand what's going on. I can smell it come from your breath. I already know what's going on. If you're starting to push my buttons already. If you're going to be compliant, be compliant. If not, sir. we can go to jail. Sir. And you can figure it out later. Okay? I'm trying to be polite with you. But you're not wanting to look me in the eye. You're not even wanting to speak to me. Ask you your name. You just look down. Okay. Peter Fagus. Peter Fagus. Fagus. Yeah. Okay. I'm Trooper Gordon. Yes. I'm Trooper Gordon. I'm gonna right, have you step out with me. We're gonna go back to my patrol car. Okay. So please step out. Because I can have them transport you to jail, and I can just meet them there. It doesn't matter to me. Okay. So would you like to step out now? Come on, man. Stick just, with him. Just work stick with, with him. 
Just notice how much the officer has to convince and tolerate this drunk sergeant into simply conversing with him and following his simple orders. Stop here for a minute. All right, I'm gonna take a look at your eyes, all right? Something we wanted to do. No? I'm sorry? I'm gonna take a look at your eyes, is that okay? Is that something you're willing to do? Okay, well, I'm gonna you put your feet together for me. All right, see so you took my pen. Okay, I... If it is something you're willing to do? Hey, look, uh, predicate, predicated on whether or not you take any tests or anything is not right, how I determine. The, 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 yeah, but these are SFSDs. Correct. Right. I'm going to explain it to you real quick, though, okay? Whether or not you refuse it is not predicated on whether or not you go to jail. Your attitude determines that with me, okay? I'll be up front with you. As long as you're polite and cooperative, I'll work with you to get you home, okay? But if you're going to if you're going to be a pain to me... I'm not being a pain. Let me finish. If you're going to be a pain about stuff and not let me do my job, we'll just go to jail and I'll solve the problem for myself. That's how I do it, okay? So if you don't want to take this, you don't have to. You know that legally, as the rest of us do here. I have to offer it to you. I have to try to do what I can do, okay? I clearly see that you've been drinking. I can smell it on your breath. Okay. All right, I see right, you have bloodshot and glassy eyes. If not, you're slumped over the wheel. I'm just trying to do my due diligence and check. You don't have to, but if you do, that's all I'm trying to do. So it's entirely up to you whether or not that's something you want to do, okay? It's entirely up to you. That's my owner of the other car and everything else. All right, do you have anything on here to worry about? No? Okay, you don't have anything on here to prove it, poke me or cut me? All right, I'm telling you right now, you're under arrest for operating a vehicle impaired tonight, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can't be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer before advice and before you ask any questions. If you can't afford a lawyer or want to be appointed for you, provide any questions. As a result of his negligence of the law, his police officers, and negligence of the oath he took to protect others, Thekas was charged with three misdemeanors and cited for a DUI. Subsequently, putting him on administrative leave until his criminal investigations are complete. If you think the last one was a bad case of driving under the influence, wait till you get a load of the next drunken defender. I didn't stop you. You already stopped. Yes, sir. Okay? Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Do you understand what you were doing? Yes, I also stopped. I didn't go home straight home. Case 3. On July 2nd, 2023, Mauricio Garcia's was found asleep and drunk behind the wheel of his car in New Jersey. Garcia's was a member of the Union City PD down in California, but despite his credentials, he's found in such a volatile manner. Despicable. Watch as the police wake him. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? Chicago's police! Put your car in park! Put your car in park. Hey, yo. Put your car in park. Put it in park. Put the gear in park. Put the gear in park. Perfect. How you feeling? Okay. See you, August Police. Officer Gonzalez, if you record my body cam, okay? What happened? Uh huh. Oh. You know where you are? Yeah, Hogan. Where are you? By Hogan. You where? By Hogan. By Hogan? By Hogan. By Hoboken? You know what town you're in? Yeah, Hogan. You know, you're not in Hoboken. I'm at home. Where's home? Hey, two blocks away. I live in uh, Seacaucus. You live in Seacaucus? Yes, where in Seacaucus do you live? Yeah, Black away. Black away? Can you roll out this window a little bit more? Okay, do you understand what's going on right now? Yes, sir. What happened? We're home, is it? No, you understand what's going on, though. You understand why I'm here talking to you. Of course, brother. What happened? Uh, motor vehicle stop. Huh? Motor vehicle stop. It's not a motor vehicle stop. You weren't driving. You got it, brother. I'm going straight home. You going straight home? Where are you coming from? Uh, Union City. You coming from Union City? Yes, sir. What are you doing? Uh, doing straight home. You were just driving straight home? Yes, sir. You understand why? Why? I'm talking to you though right now. Do you understand yes, what sir. happened? What happened right now? I'm straight home. Huh? Straight home, that's it. You lost your guy home, that's yes, it? Sir, yeah, but but you're not answering my question. Uh, you weren't driving your car, okay? I didn't stop you. You already stopped. Yes, sir. Okay? You understand that? Yes, sir. You understand what you were doing? Yes, I also stopped and I didn't go home straight home. No, you're not understanding. You're not understanding what I'm saying. The reason, reason why I'm here is because you fell asleep. Yes, 
sir. So I'm sorry. I'm no, you didn't say any of that. Okay, I just woke you up right now. Yes, sir. I went straight home. That's it. Okay, you're you're repeating yourself. All right. Huh? I, I, two blocks away. That's it. Two blocks away or anything? Yes, sir. All right. It's a shoe. Okay. Your, your, your speech is a little slurred. Okay. Did you drink anything? I had a couple of drinks. You had a couple of drinks? Okay, perfect. All right. I'm going to ask you to step out of the car for me. Your car, leave your car in park, right? Apparently, Garces thought he was pulled over for reckless driving. Put your car driving, in park! But he did not seem to take into consideration Put it in park. how the cop had just woken him up. Put the gear in park! Okay, look, look at me. Look at my pen. Okay? All right, and you just follow my pen without moving your head, all right? Just your eyes, okay? Don't move your head. Look straight and just move your eyes. Again, look straight. Okay, just move your eyes. You had a couple of drinks, huh? About how many? That you could remember? Two or three. Two or three? Two or three? Okay. Garces innocently proclaims that he only has had two, three drinks, but the pen test seemed to indicate something else to the officer. And okay, now stand like this. Hands to the side like this, exactly like you did with the with the nine steps. Okay, you're gonna hold your foot up. Okay, all right, like this. You're gonna say you're gonna count one one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand. Okay, six inches up, which equals about about the size of a dollar bill. Okay, the length of a dollar bill. Okay, six inches off the ground like this. Okay, one one thousand, two one thousand, all the way to thirty. I'll tell you when to begin. Okay, either either leg is fine. Towards me, towards me, towards me, towards me. All right, you may begin. Count out loud. 1,000, Okay, that's fine, that's fine. All right, just turn around for me and then just put your arms back like this. All right, turn around real quick and just put your arms out like that. Do that for me? Is that right? That's fine. After the cop tries to make Garcis go through yet again another hoop in order to prove his innocence, he seems to have had enough. Debating internally for a minute what his best course of action was and then straight up, releasing himself to be arrested. This is absolutely shameful for some of these cops and was visible on Garcis. His blood alcohol later was revealed to be twice the legal limit. However, what's more worrying is that this wasn't Garcia's first DUI first in 2015, and now once more in 2023. Due to this, the court ordered $890 in fines and court costs, and his vehicle must be equipped with an ignition interlock device for two years. I hope this sheds some light on how serious DUIs are and should be taken. Let me know your thoughts on the first case in the comments below. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share this video if you haven't already, and be sure to stay tuned for the next installment. Who knows? It might be right up your alley. This is Detective Mystery, signing off.